Hey guys, this is whipped cream and this is... Golf cart confessions. This is like my third one, I think. This looks much more technologically advanced than the other ones that I was on. The last one I was like on the back and I don't even know if they recorded it. It was somebody who said it was golf cart confessionals, but it was not, it was just a fan. You have found an enchanted lamp. A genie has emerged. The genie is giving you three wishes. What are they? I wish that I could sing in tune. I wish that I could fly. I wish that I could rap. I don't want to like read minds or anything. I just want to be more talented at music. That's good. Yeah. I wish I could sing so bad. I'd be like a triple threat. A tree that grows $100 bills in my backyard. Endless supply of fried chicken that doesn't make me fat. Peace and happiness for everyone. That's like the standard, chicken right? Chicken money, peace <laughs> and happiness. Right? I, that's like, How can you beat that? That's it. That's it. That's done. What's your go-to karaoke song? Well, I can't sing. I'm very self-conscious. Maybe something from the 90s like, Grind on me, by Pretty Ricky. Probably that song. Okay, what about like Ashanti? I know all the words to that city girl. That what would you do if your son's not oh, home? Crying all It's about the prostitutes. Bedroom, yeah, I love it. And the, the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money. Cause his daddy's gone. And we're smoking rock now. In and out of lockdown. I ain't got a job now. But for you, it's just we're doing time. <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> you know why I like that song? Because it, it, he goes, born and raised in South Detroit, and there is no South Detroit. How do you deal with haters? I embrace them. I like them. Well, usually I just don't even read it, but if I do read it, I'll answer with like, uh, yeah, you're right, or something like that. <laughs> like something really funny, like that they wouldn't expect. Sure. Like, you're the worst DJ in the world. I'm like, I know. It's so true. Such a piece of shit. I mean, I'm only human, so like at the end of the day, sometimes they get to me, but the number one thing I could recommend to anyone, like experiencing like hate for doing something that they love or whatever, just walking or dressing the way they want or loving the people who they want to, is just ignore it. Think about it like if, as if you're a child. If I was a kid, no one had told me no before, or told me they didn't like something, I would be so carefree and just like feeling the ground and looking at the sky and all this shit. So like, I always like to wake up and think like no one said stupid shit about me or mean shit about me. If I had listened to them and like crumbled, and some days I do, I'm only human, I wouldn't be here like talking to you or playing, you know? I'm gonna tell you a funny story of my first EDC. I was not uh, maybe as known as now, and I came in and they're like, we have no idea where you're supposed to go, and we have no idea where your stage is. So they just put me on this little two-seater golf cart and we drove around to listen for house music <laughs> until we found our stage. And they're like, and then I'm like, that must be it. And they're like, okay. And then I just went up and they're like, oh, club on show, yeah, 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 you're here, that's right. You hurt yourself being dumb every day. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get just really excited and I like to talk.